So you see, this is a very important question from the Olympiad point of view. Many a times this type of question is asked. So three circles are there and you see and a common tangent is there. You see, this is the common tangent, right? And the circles are also touching each other. So basically, there is a relation between the radii of these three circles. This is R2 and this is R1 and this is R3. So the relation is what guys? So guys, this will be the length of the direct common tangent. You got it? I'm naming it PQ over here. So PQ is the direct common tangent between the circles A and B over here. So let's see how we can find the length of the direct common tangent. You see in this triangle TSR, can I use the Pythagoras theorem? You see, this is two square root of R1, R3. Can I divide by two square root of R1, R2, R3. I can do that, right? On both these sides, obviously. Now let's simplify. You see, this is 2, 2 will get cancelled out. Square root of R1, R3, square root of R1, R3 will get cancelled out. So we will be left with 1 by square root of R2. So this is a very important relation for competitive examination and it must be on your tips. Hello, everybody. So you see, this is a very important question from the Olympiad point of view. Many a times this type of question is asked in various competitive examinations. So let's do this one. So over here, you see three circles are there. They, I mean, these two circles, this one and this one can be of equal uh, radii as well. But over here, it is given that they are of three different measurements, right? So three circles are there. And you see, and a common tangent is there. You see, this is the common tangent, right? And the circles are also touching each other. So basically, there is a relation between the radii of these three circles. Basically, you have to directly remember the formulae. Suppose the radius of the smallest circle over here, this is R2, and this is R1, and this is R3. So the relation is what, guys? The relation is 1 by R2 square root of R2 that is equal to 1 by square root of R1 plus 1 by square root of R3 over here. I hope this is clear. So before actually uh, finding the solution, I mean to find the radius of the smallest circle over here, let us derive this relation between the radii of these three circles. So let's do this guys. So before actually doing this, you have to understand something called direct common tangent. Suppose this is circle A, uh, not suppose this is given in the question itself and this is circle B, right? And suppose the radius of this circle is R1, the radius of this circle is R2. I hope this is clear. So guys, this will be the length of the direct common tangent. You got it? The circle A, circle B, and this is the length of the direct common tangent. You can name it, suppose I'm naming it PQ over here. So PQ is the direct common tangent between the circles A and B over here. So let's see how we can find the length of the direct common tangent. So for that, we have to do construction. So can we join this thing, guys? And can we drop perpendicular like this? So you see over here, what is this length guys? This is R1. What is this length? This is R2 over here. I hope this is clear. Now you see as we have dropped this perpendicular and you see tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. You know this property. So what does it mean? That suppose uh, PQ, I'm naming it R and S. So you see over here PQRS becomes a rectangle. If I say PQRS, it becomes a rectangle over here, right? So therefore, if this is R2, this one is also R2 over here. I hope this is clear. And you see this total is R1 over here. So what does it mean? That this part over here will become R1 minus R2. I hope this thing is clear. Now we have to find the length of the direct common tangent that is PQ. Now, if you see this right angled triangle over here, suppose this is T. So in this triangle TSR, if you talk about in triangle TSR, you see in this triangle TSR, can I use the Pythagoras theorem? 
कैन आई से टी आर स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टी एस स्क्वायर प्लस एस आर स्क्वायर वी कैन डू दिस ओवर हेयर गाइज राइट नाउ यू सी ओवर हेयर वॉट इज टी आर स्क्वायर टी आर स्क्वायर ओवर हेयर इज आर वन प्लस आर टू दी होल स्क्वायर यू सी ओवर हेयर आर वन प्लस आर टू दी होल स्क्वायर नाउ वॉट इज टी एस स्क्वायर जस्ट सी दैट टी एस इज आर वन माइनस आर टू यू सी दिस इज आर वन माइनस आर टू राइट सो लेट मी इरेज इट सो दिस इज आर वन माइनस आर टू फॉर यू आर वन माइनस आर टू दी होल स्क्वायर राइट ना वॉट इज एस आर स्क्वायर वी डोंट नो सो दिस इज एस आर दी होल स्क्वायर आई होप इट इज क्लियर अप टिल हेयर नाउ लेट्स फाइंड एस आर स्क्वायर फ्रॉम हेयर इन टर्म्स ऑफ आर वन आर टू सो दिस विल बी आर वन प्लस आर टू दी होल स्क्वायर जस्ट सी इट गाइज माइनस आर वन माइनस आर टू दी होल स्क्वायर नाउ गाइज इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस यूजिंग द आइडेंटिटी ए प्लस बी दी होल स्क्वायर and a minus b the whole square this you must have done since childhood obviously so this is 4 r1 r2 just simplify this you'll get 4 r1 r2 so if you take this square root of both the sides you'll get sr is equal to 2 square root of r1 r2 now you can see over here sr is nothing but equal to pq only so what does it mean that pq is the length of the direct common tangent and that is equal to 2 into square root of r1 r2 so if you have got a pair of circles the length of the direct common tangent is 2 into square root of product of their uh, radii i hope this is clear right now let's move on to the previous problem if we have got these three circles over here let us see them so suppose if the length of the radius of this circle is r1, the length of the radius of this circle is r2, the length of the radius of this circle is r3. If suppose this is the situation. Now suppose the point, uh, this is p over here, this is q over here, and suppose this point, this point is r over here. Suppose it is r. I hope this is clear to everybody. Now tell me guys, what is this direct common tangent what is this direct common tangent between this big circle and this small circle we have derived the formula in the previous slide so isn't it 2 into square root of r1 r2 in the same manner what is the length of this direct common tangent isn't it 2 into square root of r2 r3 you see over here r2 r3 now what is the length of the direct common tangent of the first and the third circles, the first and the third circles. So isn't it 2 into square root of r1 r3? I hope this is clear. Now from the figure, can we not say it's a very direct relation? Can I not say that pq over here is equal to pr plus rq guys? pr plus rq. Can we say this? Yes. Now what is pq? pq is nothing but 2 square root of r1 r3. You can see this 2 square root of r1 r3. What is pr? It is 2 square root of r1 r2 over here. Now what is rq? Just see that. It is 2 square root of r2 r3. You see over here r2 r3. So we have got this relation over here. Now can I divide on both these sides by square? Uh, you see this is 2 square root of r1 r3 can i divide by 2 square root of r1 r2 r3 i can do that right on both these sides obviously so you see what we will get 2 square root of r1 r3 divided by 2 square root of r1 r2 r3 over here plus we will get 2 square root of r2 r3 divided by 2 square root of r1 r2 r3 i hope it is clear up till here guys now let's simplify you see this is 2 2 will get cancelled out square root of r1 r3 square root of r1 r3 will get cancelled out so we will be left with 1 by square root of r2 correct and that is equal to what 
in the same manner over here you see square root of r1 r2 r1 r2 will get cancelled out so we will be left with square root of 1 by r3 plus or you can say 1 by square root of r3 obviously i hope you understand in the same manner 2 2 will get cancelled out r2 r3 r2 r3 so we'll be left with 1 by square root of r1 so have we derived that relation guys which i had said in the very first slide that 1 by square root of radius of the smallest circle is equal to 1 by square root of uh, radius of this circle plus 1 by square root of radius of this circle. So this is a very important relation for competitive examination and it must be on your tips. I hope this is clear. Now let us find the answer in the first case over here. Just put the values. So radius of this circle we have assumed to be R2. So this is 1 by square root of R2. And it will come out to be 1 by square root of, see, uh, this is the first circle. Suppose circle A, it is given in the question itself and this is circle B over here, right? So the radius is equal to 16. Let's put the value. And over here of this circle, the radius is equal to 9. So just put it over here, 9. So I hope it is clear. So this will be 1 by 4 plus 1 by 3. So just simplify what will you get guys just take the LCM you'll get. So you see 7 by 12 you'll get just take the LCM 4 plus 3 is 7 upon 12. Now you can square on both these sides of this equation guys. What will I get? I'll get 1 by R2 over here because square root of R2 the whole square will be equal to R2 only and you square on this side you'll get 49 upon 144 over here. I hope this is clear. So you, you can find the value of R2 over here. So R2 will be equal to 144 upon 49 centimeter. I hope this is clear to you the whole derivation and how you can directly remember this uh, relation. I hope this is clear to every student.